Good afternoon and welcome to Callum, Cum Callum Cymru revision sessions. Session four will focus on French A2 and will be pre presented by Madame Lloyd from Uskul Mycederen. This last A2 session will, uh, will take about 45 minutes where Madame Lloyd will go through the various grammatical points and some common mistakes. If you have any questions, please use the question and answer section and we will endeavour to answer your questions during the session. The session will be recorded with the recording and any relevant resources uploaded to the ESCO website in the Callum Cymru area. OK, merci beaucoup. À vous, Madame Lloyd. Merci. Euh, bonsoir, donc euh, ce soir on va faire un peu de grammaire, enfin on va surtout réviser les, les quelques erreurs que vous pouvez parfois faire. So we, we're doing some, uh, go over the few mistakes you, you do sometimes, all of us do. So the aims of the session will be to, uh, what is expected from you to write about from WGC, some common mistakes, and then we'll do some practice or we'll do the practice at the same time as we say, seeing the mistakes. So first of all, what is expected from you in the exam, in an A-level exam, especially year 13. So <clears throat> I, I quoted the WGC specification. So in the examination, learners, so that's you, will be required to use actively and accurately grammar and structure appropriate to the tasks set, which means you need, you need to use grammar, you need to use voc good vocab structure linked with uh, the oral, what you need to use in the oral, what you need to use in uh, the <clears throat> unit four with the reading, then mostly with answering the long question, also the translation. Translation grammar is good for the translation too because the two languages are sometimes different. And then for USA, of course, for unit five. So first of all, what they want, it, there, there is a huge list and I didn't put all of them, but they want you to know how to use nouns. So nouns link with your um, topics, of course, uh, mostly, uh, plus some words that you should know by now. You need to know that gender. So I put two examples here. So quel est le genre d'immigration et quel est le genre de collaborateur? OK, et sont singulier, ils sont pluriel. What make you um, decide? Those two words, are, I put them in in purpose. So how do you know that immigration is feminine? Or well, the other thing is it's ending in ION. Most of our French words ending in ION are feminine, whatever the article when you're reading. OK, so if you once you know that, if you have to write about it or if you have to speak about it, you have to agree every adjectives. So, um, OK, you, you could say you don't see S, S is in oral. No, you don't see them, but you see the E at the end of uh, importante. You see that type of, you can hear and listen to that type of mistakes. You could make not remembering immigration is feminine. Collaborateur masculine or feminine? It's masculine because uh, most, uh, not always, but most of E, U, R words are masculine. And this one is plural because les, of course, les collaborateurs, don't forget the, the S. So singular, feminine, masculine, plural. And then I put other words that you need to know. You need to know, of course, the main topic. So, so you topic on uh, immigration and you topic on, on Second World War. But you also know, need to know some other words like labor goes with thème 3, but it also goes with one of the books you have to read like um, uh, keep keep the man. So you need to know it's a it's a slang language French used to say to speak about uh, people coming from North Africa and France is not used that much nowadays since I would say 10 years it's not really used but you can find it in your book and you could see it in a in a text perhaps in a question if it's referring to something a bit older than than the recent years so also you need to know about adjectives so what do you need to know about adjective you need to know that they agree in gender and number in french and you need to know um, how to recognize them sometime in a, in a text because it makes a massive difference so i put that example i wrote les jeunes français deux fois twice but first sentence, I put a capital letter à français. Second one, I didn't put a capital letter à français. So could you find me 
what fine, it's not too difficult. The adjectives, so you could type it in the QA. What is the adjective in my first phrase? What is the adjective in my second phrase? And what, what does that mean if you were translating um, even from, uh, from English, in fact? So it means here is my adjective in the first one, les jeunes français. So you're speaking of the French people who are young. Here my adjective is here, français. So you're speaking of young people who are French. So I know it, it is not a huge difference, but it, it, the meaning is different, okay? So, and if you are speaking les, je, les jeunes français, I'm accentuating who I'm talking about, les jeunes français, I'm accentuating, I'm speaking of, speaking of young people, mostly, they, they happen to be French, okay? They could be from Quebec or somewhere else. So, you also need to revise your numbers and your expression of times of time. So numbers, uh, I've done it in the previous session. Uh, the difficult one, you know, the one with an hyphen in between. Savoir that 80, take an S at the end of 20, but 90 doesn't take any S because 20 is in between 4 and 10. Okay, that type of thing. Uh, so what I did, instead of going again through numbers a bit, I, I put some expression of time. So that's to structure your oral and your written work. So you need this expression of time. You need to use them because that's what they ask you to do. Um, and, and you need to be able to understand how they work. So depuis, pendant, le lendemain. Depuis, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? What does it mean, depuis? Depuis, since. Pendant, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? During, during the Second World War, pendant la Seconde Guerre mondiale. Um, le lendemain, the following day, okay? Demain is tomorrow. But when you speak in right, right thing, in your written work, in your essay, you, you cannot say demain because you're not speaking to someone, you're writing about something which happened the following day. So, le lendemain, you need to remember all this um, expression of time. So, think about the one you know and perhaps create cards about them. So, text yourself with them. You've you got a lot of websites for that if you write expression of time, expression of time, sorry, in French. Okay? Adverbs are important. Adverbs, they like, it's, a, it's my own definition, okay? Uh, they like a bit like adjective by four verbs, okay? Adjectives, they describe known and, and things like that, mostly. Adverbs, they describe verb. So the easiest adverbs that you can use in your written work, your oral work, and you can think in translation are the M, E N T adverb, okay? You take the noun in the feminine form, facile, facile, me, easy, and you add mon, facilement, easily, okay? So um, you could have uh, généreux, generous, généreusement, enfin, généreuse is a feminine, généreusement, gener um, 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 generously, c'est l'adverb. So you could use uh, adverbs to to write an essay which is more, more thing, nicer, more, thing, with more structure, or even for your oral, for your IRP, you could, you could um, put some adverbs in here and there to, to, to explain your verb, okay, how, how it happened. So, for example, I put an, a sentence. We cannot help you with the IRP, but we can give you like little sentences. J'ai trouvé que l'article, any article you use, I found that the article était le plus intéressant des deux. That's my other um, my other adverb. It's uh, sorry, it's a bit um, it, it, you cannot see it. It's um, superlative, okay? So you cannot really see it there, but here we go. So it's a superlative saying is was the most interesting of the of the two of them, okay? You're reading article. They ask you what which one did you find interesting? Or j'ai trouvé que l'article dans le monde de l'article sur, I don't know, l'environnement, l'article, I don't know what you're doing, était, was, le plus intéressant des deux, the most interesting of the, of the two of them. Okay, so another adverb which could help you to have a nicer structure in your, in your oral and written work. You need to use also quantifier, like beaucoup, la plupart, plusieurs, uh, uh, beaucoup, a lot, la plupart, most, most of, Plusieurs is the same, uh, many, but they all mean more or less the same. It's like in English, in fact, but you could change, not always using beaucoup, 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 
use also la plupart, beaucoup de Français, la plupart des Français, plusieurs personnes, I would say, ou plusieurs uh, personnages dans le livre, bla 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 bla. Ok, so that's another thing. Je continue. Verbs, our verbs are important. So you know your regular verb, like uh, er, ir. Um, mostly our regular verb, are are not so regular, and irregular verbs like avoir, être, faire, aller, um, that you need to learn. Irregular verbs, there is no regular verbs. You know the ending for the, the tenses. Fine, you can change the ending for any ER verb. It works. But for irregular verbs, you need, to, you need to know them. So some of them, the ending is easy. You just need to know the stem, so the, the root of the verb. But for others, it's more It's more complicated, so there is no choice than learning. Like avoir et être, you need to know those one by heart, more or less. So especially you need to know this here, the third person singular, so il, elle et on. On voit beaucoup de, de, euh, de jeunes immigrés au chômage, etc. Okay, you see a lot of young people who are for, from immigration unemployed, okay? So, On is a, is a way of speaking French people use all the time. Um, and plural tense, sorry, I'm too fast. So plural tenses, you need different moods. You need to know how to use a subjunctive, how to use a conditional present, etc., etc. Okay, so we'll see a bit about subjunctive later. You need to know your pronouns, like subject, I, as I was saying, on, il, elle, il, elles, etc. Direct and indirect pronoun, like lui ou leur. Okay, which mean them, but they're not used in the same way, and we see that later. Think, think if you if you could remember from a previous session, as I said, you could use them. You got also the relative one, uh, like okel. So when you refer to someone um, to something you've done before, um, you 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 can use okel, and you have to alakel feminine or okel plural with an X in the between. We'll see that a bit later too. You need to, you, you, to know about use negation, ne pas, ne plus, ne que, okay, not, uh, not anymore, uh, only, and, and also things like person, nobody, okay? Conjunction, I put two or three for you to have an example of what it is because I know grammatical terms are a bit of a bizarre jargon, but if you got example, all of a sudden you click and you think, oh yes, I know who they, what they are and you use them. So, a, you know that one since you're seven, que, ou, comme, si, ok, que, that, ou, without an accent, qu'est-ce que c'est? You can type if you think, or, comme, as, or like, si, if, etc., etc. So, it's linking the text together and your paragraph and your words, oral and, and written work, I'm thinking. Uh, you need discourse markers, so, au contraire, en fait, enfin, donc, uh, um, uh, Um, in fact, uh, at, at last, enfin, enfin, je vais parler de your third point in USA, donc, so, etc., uh, etc., and fillers for the oral, sometimes, alors, sometimes fillers are great, but you need to know how to use them. You cannot put them everywhere. So, that's it. And there are a lot of things like that. Okay, so I'm not going through everything, uh, but Uh, I'm going through a bit of it. So here I want to, you to recognize words. So <clears throat> en 1940 is to show you a date, like they ask, WGC ask about, uh, sorry, I'm looking numbers, you need to know your numbers, your dates, etc. You need to know in 1940, is not dans 1940, is en 1940, okay? And here, what is it? What is statue? What does a status It's easy to know what it means, but c'est quoi comme mot? Quel, quel type de mot est-ce que c'est? What type of word is it? It's an easy one because you've got an article in front of it. So, okay, c'est un nom, it's a noun, it's masculine and it's singular because le tells you all about that and the ending too could tell you that, okay? <clears throat> you got signe. Qu'est-ce que c'est comme type de mot signe? What, what type of word is signe? Signe. The regular ER verb in the present tense, okay? Is signing, in fact. Now, <clears throat> e, the verb agrees with its subject too, okay? Adjectives have to agree with a noun, but verbs have to 
be conjugated as the right person. So le statut is like il. Il signe un i at the end, like il chante, il mange, exactly the same thing, okay? So it makes it's easier to know how to conjugate them when you have to use them, okay? Link with the, the subject. Brutalement, qu'est-ce que c'est brutalement? We just seen one before. Qu'est-ce que c'est brutalement? Brutalement, c'est un adverbe. So it's explaining how it was signed. All of a sudden, brutally, I mean, brutally, literally, but all of a sudden, okay? La fin. Qu'est-ce que c'est comme type de mot? Fin. Fin is a noun, but it's feminine. Sometimes I see people writing le fin. No, le, la, la fin, and F ends the, the end, okay? And it's singular. La fin, I, I'm not going through everywhere, okay? But I'm going through some of them. Set, qu'est-ce que c'est set? Set, uh, set homme, set femme, double T-E, okay? Set is a demonstrative, okay? Uh, to see this one, this, and here we go, two adjectives, we are, which are, in fact, um, associated with another word and create a new word. Ancien combatant is one word in English. We've done it before. I don't know if some of you can remember what it meant, but it would be nice to see it in the in the question and answers. So ancien combatant, they are adjective, but for size and for some time age, adjective can be positioned before the noun they qualify, okay? Ancien is for combatant, grand is for guerre. So I, I put in pink there because because we're talking of the First World War, for once, you can put capital letters, okay? Well, in French, we don't use capital letters as much as in English, usually. But uh, just I wanted to remind you, some adjective, most of our adjective comes after the, the nouns they qualify, but sometimes they come before, and it's true for bon, mauvais, good, bad, bad and good come before, okay? Ancien uh, come before, mais ce combattant âgé, âgé comes after, ok? So not every age, size mostly, can be, la, la petite maison, la grande maison, uh, etc. Except for moyenne, moyenne will come after. So you need to play with them and remember where they go, ok? Le droit, again, I put that one because I've seen more, a lot of time, la droit. So it's a noun, the, the right, ok? Um, it's a noun, it's masculine and singular. Uh, I know why I la. I see la because you all learned à droite, and droite is, uh, and droite is outside, sorry. Uh, droite is, is feminine, but le droit in the sense the right or the low is, is masculine in French, okay? Et son métier, son, qu'est-ce que c'est son? It's a possessive adjective, okay? So his job. So I give you the names. You don't need to remember everything, but have a, an idea of what it is, if you can. Now, question, that's my little quiz tonight. If instead of son métier, his job, the sentence was ending with le droit d'exercer, beep, profession. Pro, what would be the possessive and why? I want you to write that in the Q&A, and I want you to think about it. And if you're watching the video, uh, uh, the recording, sorry, Pause and, and write down, think what is the, uh, the possessive and, and why. The why, I want you to realize why, okay? Not just recite a recipe to me. So, okay, the possessive will be, uh, it's not ma, sorry, it's sa, because uh, it, we're talking of that man. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if, yeah, I can write with my pen. So, put an S there. Sa profession, okay? It will be sa profession because, okay, we're talking of him, so it's se instead of me. Ma profession will be mine, okay? <clears throat> sa profession is job, again. So the S shows it's, we're talking of him, a third person, in fact. But it's sa because in French, possessive adjective agree with what they describe, which will be profession, and ION show you that profession, which means also job, um, is feminine, not with a person who own it or who's got the job, okay? So it's not with the person, it, like his job, it's agreeing with the, that veteran, that old man, okay? But in French, his job, if it's in profession, sa profession, <clears throat> sa because, yes, 
this old man can be replaced by ill, but because profession is feminine, it has to be feminine. Okay, so don't forget that. Don't don't, uh, don't agree with the, with the, the subject agrees with with what he's doing. So next one, I want you to um, correct the errors in those sentences. So I wrote some sentences linked with your topics. Okay, first one is uh, thème uh, thème quatre la guerre. Uh, deuxième, c'est sur l'immigration. Troisième aussi sur thème trois. Uh, sorry, I put uh, the movie from last year, that my mistakes, but I've seen that mistake so often. We could use dans le livre uh, un secret, and you put le narrateur, et 11 ans, enfin, il, il, il est 10 ans, I think. Okay, or uh, you could put about Doria, uh, Doria uh, in uh, Kif Kif Demain, if you're doing that book. Okay, that's the two books I know about. Uh, same, is a mistake I want you to correct. Fine. Et le second génération. Again, thème 3. So, première phrase, il y a trois erreurs. Could you spot one and type it if you can, if you're there, then typing now, or pause and highlight. Highlight those mistakes. All right then. So, show you first one, le population. I have seen that. Everybody knows Ion is French, is, is feminine, but often when you write fast, you forget. And when you speak, it's the same. So, deuxième, c'est premier. There is a mistake there. And troisième, c'est allemand. Okay? So here is a correction. La population, parce que population is féminine. Les premiers, because everything has to agree. So premier needs an S. Et allemand needs a capital letter. Because they are the people. Okay? And here it cannot be an adjective because premier cannot be the, the noun. <coughs> Except in some context, but not in my sentence. Deuxième phrase, l'immigration est importante en France et en Luxembourg. Deux erreurs. Deux erreurs dans cette phrase. Deux erreurs, sorry, I'm checking. Euh, première erreur, important. Deuxième erreur, parce qu'à cause d'immigration. Deuxième erreur, en Luxembourg. So what went wrong? <coughs> première erreur, I think you, you got it by now. I forgot to agree with immigration. Immigration is feminine. Even if important, what at the end of the sentence, it has to have a E if it's linked with immigration, okay? En France, fine, France is feminine, but Luxembourg is a masculine, French-speaking country, okay? So you could have something about Luxembourg, or Luxembourg, okay? Because it's masculine. <coughs> so don't forget that. Troisième phrase, si les immigrés viennent de pays en guerre, ils ne peuvent pas être renvoyés. If I'm to, speaking about immigration in the oral, nobody can spot my mistake, and that's amazing. If you're speaking about it, it will be, it won't be immigration in USA, but it, you could use adverb venir and you could use renvoyer in any essay, in fact, because uh, Doria in Kif Kif, uh, she, she sent back home so, at the point. Uh, deux erreurs. Deux erreurs ici. Uh, I more or less told you which one they were. Viennent et renvoyer, okay? Les immigrés, <coughs> okay, you got the sound and you used to say it. Les immigrés viennent d'ici. Uh, mes sources viennent de ce journal, principalement de ce journal. You could use it for, for your, your IRP, uh, <coughs> etc., etc. Because you're so used to use it in speaking, sometimes we don't think about uh, writing it correctly. Et renvoyer, here it goes, yeah. Renvoyer is linguistics, okay? And it's far, far away, but still it has to agree. Okay, donc si les immigrés viennent, ENT, because les immigrés plural, de pays en guerre, ils ne peuvent pas être renvoyés S. OK? Dans le film La Rafle, Joseph et 11 ans, une erreur, and I told you about it more or less, c'est E. Joseph, in English, is 11, and you don't often need an, but in French, he has 11 years with him. OK? La cinquième phrase, I forgot, yeah. les enfants de immigrés, Erreur 2. Pourquoi? I made a small mistake there. It's, it's something tiny, but you see it often. Forgot because it's a, it's a vowel. He disappeared and I've got an apostrophe instead, that little line at the top. Okay? Because it's too complicated to say deux immigrés. So les enfants d'immigrés. Okay? And sometimes you see it um, often, not with le and la, but not with 
learn that way. Of, but with the sometimes it happened because uh, people think beaucoup de, I learned that, and I write beaucoup de immigrés, or beaucoup de élèves, or beaucoup de uh, what you want with a vowel, but it's beaucoup d'immigrés, okay? Um, le second génération, deux erreurs. Again, everything has to agree, so the article has to agree. Second has to agree. So it's la seconde génération, OK? Je continue. Uh, bien, bien que la France a délivré beaucoup de visas en 2021, ils sont moins nombreux qu'avant la pandémie. OK, deux erreurs ici aussi, sur une phrase un peu plus longue. Same type of uh, mistakes. Bien que, that one is a bit more complicated. So why, why is not A? Ah, la France a délivré beaucoup de visas, that's correct. Why is it not A? Ah? Not A ah because of bien que, so why do you have to, what, what, what does a verb need, need to look like if you got bien que? Think about that. Et que, uh, here, same, that before, than before, sorry, it's correct. What's wrong? A, you need the subjunctive pre, okay? So, avoir, you need to know it in the subjunctive present too, okay? Bien que la France est délivrée, and you need to know how to write it. Is de nombreux visas, etc. Ils sont moins nombreux qu'avant la pandémie. Again, que also needs an apostrophe, okay? Before, uh, in front of a vowel. Phrase 8, une erreur. La France n'avait pas été acceptée. La famille, sorry, n'avait pas été acceptée. La famille n'avait pas été acceptée. Acceptée. There's a mistake. Why? La famille, and you could tell me, well, but navé, navé, nothing agree with navé. Yes, but the thing is, you got été. Okay? And été make it accepté. Um, it's, it's a passive voice from, from a, a plus perfect, okay? So, so it wasn't accepted, hasn't been accepted literally. So, n'avait pas été accepté, you need an E because accepté has to agree because you got été. So, été doesn't agree because you got, it's got with ave and never, and never agree because it works with ave. But you not, in that tense, you need to agree that one now. Okay? Accepté. Dès le début du roman, on voit qu'il y a tension entre le narrateur et son père. So, I see that from time to time, that mistakes. So, I'm thinking of um, the novel on. Um, Secret there. Une erreur. So, from the beginning of the novel, you can see tension between the narrator and his father. It's, it sounds great in English. In French, you, there is a small mistake here. Small mistake, one, only one, sorry. Il y a des tensions. There are some tension. Okay, we love articles. We put them everywhere, more or less, quite often. So, don't forget that you need articles definite, like le lalé, or indefinite, like des, for example, here. Uh, in French a lot, okay? Donc, il y a des tensions entre le narrateur et son père, okay? <clears throat> Now, les problèmes auxquels Doria fait faire face, sorry. Trois erreurs. Uh, one is not a really a grammatical mistake, but I, I thought I spot it um, today for you just because we're coming closer to the exam, so perhaps you remember. Okay, that's one. That, that's the one which is not important. Auquel et faire. What happened here? People didn't conjugate that. Okay, didn't, didn't agree that. Les problèmes auxquels, okay? About, about saying what problem, okay? Auquel has to agree with problem. So it cannot be singular, it has to have a X, X sorry, and an S, okay? But it's one word. Auquel, if it was feminine, double L, E, S at the end. Um, Doria fait face. Either in the present, the problem she is facing now, okay, or the problem she has to face, okay, doit faire face, she has to uh, faire face, that's an expression in, face, in, in French, sorry, okay, so you need to conjugate your verb or use another verb, perhaps, perhaps that mistake, someone forgot the doit, doit faire face, because they learned the the, the expression and forgot the, the conjugated verb, or perhaps that person forgot to conjugate, okay? So don't forget that. À la fin de la histoire, elles sont heureuses. I'm talking of Doria and her mum. So, heureuse, one mistake, 
and there are two mistakes in fact and I forgot that uh, the other one can you see it even if I didn't put it I, I corrected it but I didn't put it à la fin de l'histoire okay so that's also is a mistake so two two deux erreurs okay à la fin de l'histoire elles sont heureuses at the end of the story they're happy but two, the two of them pour enfin something pour nous faire comprendre la situation okay so in you speaking one mistake here with fair pour nous faire comprendre in that case because it's pour plus plus um, infinitive pour make us understand in fact okay literally to make us understand us has nothing to do with the verb but fait in addition us has nothing to do with the verb here it says it's not nous we it's not we okay donc pour nous faire comprendre la situation okay je continue that's a longer sentence l'immigration a connu une progression très nette depuis le début du 20e siècle après les deux guerres mondiales, celle-ci a fortement augmenté pour compenser la besoin de main-d'oeuvre. Just because I spotted those mistakes, so, il y a quatre erreurs. Quatre erreurs là-dedans. If you could spot one, one, it would be great. So, connu. Ça, c'est une de mes erreurs. So, when, when I'm highlighting them, think about why. Why did she highlight that one? Net. Mondial. Et là. Voilà, you could guess, even if you don't know the word, the need. OK? Besoin is a need. I'm thinking of your translation there. OK? You're translating from English into French. Donc, l'immigration a connu une progression. And when I say it, it sounds amazing, except from the last bit, perhaps. L'immigration a connu. No, oui, in that case, because it's with avoir. OK? So, with avoir, no agreement, that you have to remember with the verb avoir. Une progression très nette. So, net has to agree with progression. In that case, you need to double the T and put an E, if you're writing. Depuis le début du 20e siècle, fine. Après les deux guerres mondiales with an S, because we've got two world uh, wars, wars, sorry, and, and mondial agrees. And of course, le besoin, because besoin is masculine. So think of it for mostly um, the sentence I wrote for about theme three and theme four are for your translation work, okay? At the end of unit four. On continue. So it's about uh, an article I took somewhere. Quelques autres erreurs. Sorry. So this one, I didn't wrote any sentence with them, but I'm thinking. It's not an exhaustively. I, I I I spoke about three of them because they are. We haven't got time in for uh, 45 minutes. So qui que? So it's a relative, a relative pronoun. Okay, qui est que? Um, you have to remember that qui replaces a subject and is followed by the verb. Okay. Et que replaces a complement. So what what describes? And it answers the question what or who. Okay. So I put two examples. Le sujet que j'ai choisi, the subject that I choose, uh, chose is, c'est un thème qui m'intéresse, okay? So, uh, so it's, it's a theme that I'm interested in, but you see, m'intéresse, that's the verb. It changes, the M is there, but that's just because it's a, it's a reflexive verb. So qui, and that has to agree, qui, um, and it means the same thing that un thème, okay? So he has to agree with that. So qui means e at the end, sorry. And the sujet that I've chosen, uh, that that is, is introducing what you've done, okay? What? Le sujet that what? That what? That I've chosen, okay? Le personnage que je trouve important, I wanted to show you um, because it's reversed. Le personnage that I found important is, so what do I find? So, so I put the, in that, sometimes you, it's reversed. You put, you put the subject after what you're talking about. It's why I, I didn't want to put, um, I didn't know if I should have put that, but you've got the je between you and the verb. So it cannot be key. Okay. 
cannot be key because je is, is a new sentence. So que, le personnage que je trouve important. And in addition, if you ask yourself, who do I found important? That character. Okay, so it's that. So uh, go through it again later, later on on your own time and think about it, okay? Les et leurs, meaning them, okay? Les et leurs, um, I took that sentence. Le gouvernement français les aide avec la garantie jeune. So uh, the French government is helping them with uh, uh, something, uh, something for, for young people when they, they're looking for a job, okay? Uh, to help them to have a chance to to take part in, in um, working life, to, to, to start in society, okay? To integrate society. C'est la garantie qui est une initiative leur donnant la chance de s'intégrer dans la société et la vie active. So it's... Um, So, le, le gouvernement français help them, yes, avec ça, with that, which is uh, an, um, an initiative, or key, uh, or that, that or which, okay, uh, it's the same verb directly after, qui means la garantie jeune, leur donnant, giving them an opportunity. How do you differentiate? I explained that in a previous lesson with a link, with a speaking, okay? They are positioned before the verb, okay? Both of them, they need to be before the verb because you need to know where you put them. Them in English will go after the verb. In French, it has to go before the verb, whatever the them you need. Now, they both mean them, but les is a direct pronoun and answer the question, who? Le gouvernement français aide qui, who? Okay, who is the government, the French government helping? And leur is an indirect pronoun and answers the question to whom. Uh, so it's, a, it's an initiative uh, giving a chance to whom. To whom is that giving a chance? Les jeunes, okay? Them. Okay, again, take your time to read that in your own time, okay? And remember when you say the narrator tells him or the narrator tells her, in French we, we say um, D, enfin, says in fact, say à qui. We don't say, uh, we always have to use a that. So now that tell that him or, or um, tell to, tell he, lui dit, okay, sorry. The narrator tell him or her, c'est le narrateur lui dit, okay, whatever the, it, there is no him, there is no her, tells whom, okay, he tells, he, tells lui, in fact, because lui replace her and um, him. In that case, there is no feminine with, with, tell, with dire. So it's for the translation I was thinking. I put that one because if you got something like uh, the government tell, tell the him or her, etc., you have to put lui or her, you have to put lui too, okay? Now, why replaces the structure a, chez, en, ou dans, plus a noun? It cannot replace a person. Example, je vais en ville, j'y vais. Okay, I, I'm going there. Et en remplace the structure de plus noun. Je mange du pain, j'en mange. I, I eat it. Okay, sometimes I see them, uh, you, you exchange one to the other. So there are a few other errors that you, you could avoid and look at the position of the thing, okay, where they are before the verb most of the time in French. Okay, now, les verbes. You need to know some verb for your exam. So uh, my list is not exhaustive again, eh? okay? Um, I couldn't. But you need to know the verb être. That's of course, that, that one you need to know it uh, like by heart, if I may say, um, because it's, it's your best friend, if I may say that too. And another of your best friend is, is to be, of course, I thought that, that that one you knew what it meant. Avoir is the other one, okay? That's your second best friend. Être and avoir, you need to know them because we use them all the time. So avoir means, you can type it if you want, to have. Okay, there are two others which are used all the time in French. Like in English, I've, you could say you use a lot to do. Okay, we use a lot aller, to go, and faire, like to do, in fact. To do or to make. It can mean to make in French too. Okay, so être, avoir, aller, faire, you need to know them. And they're completely irregular, if I may be honest. You need to know the verb savoir. So I'm trying to link. So you need to know some verbs for the structure of your speaking 
because they, they are used so often, they could be in the translation and also for the structure of few um, essay. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire savoir? What does it mean? It means to know, to know something most of the time, okay? Uh, then that one, yes, but the other one, no. Now, the other one is connaître. Connaître means to know, but to know someone in 90% of the case, okay? There are few examples where no, it's also something, but it's specific and it's something which has a value of like a person, okay? So savoir et connaître, to know, but not for the same reason. Je sais ma leçon, I know my, uh, my lesson. Je connais mon prof, I know my teacher, okay, you see? Dire, dire, we just seen it now, is to say, but sometimes we use it for to tell in English, okay? Parler, that's an easy one, parler, to speak. Voir, voir is to see. Falloir, falloir is to have to, okay, to have to, it's a necessity. Il faut que je mange uh, à l'heure, I have to eat on time. Devoir. What is devoir? Again, to have to, it's an obligation. So now, if I tell you, il faut que vous appreniez le verbe être, okay? You have to learn uh, le verbe être. It's a necessity if you want to be able to write in French, okay? But no pressure on you. Uh, vous devez apprendre le verbe être. You have to learn the verb to be. I'm more or less giving you an order, okay? Uh, so, that's the way I would speak, but perhaps in my mind, I mean that, okay? If it makes sense. Vouloir, qu'est-ce que c'est vouloir? So they look alike, all of those, sometimes, and you mix them sometimes. Vouloir means to want. Pouvoir, pouvoir means to be able to, okay? Now, in that page, only one verb is regular. Which one? Could you spot the regular verb? Okay, spot the duck. Spot the regular verb. Regular verb in that page is parler. Parler is a near verb. It's easy to conjugate. Imagine you never seen it before. You can conjugate it because you know how to conjugate chanter, to sing or aimer, to love. Okay. Now, another other verb you got link with more what you're doing this year. Trouver, to find. Je trouve, uh, like IRP, je, je, je trouve ce sujet très intéressant. I found this subject really interesting. Okay, so change a bit. Montrer, qu'est-ce que c'est montrer? To show. Okay, cet article montre que, uh, voilà, okay, that, that article shows that uh, les Français, uh, you, you have to, again, IRP, I, I was thinking perhaps IRP because IRP is, is coming. So, verbs that you could use. Accorder. Accorder is to grant. That, that's something translation uh, because you grant uh, things to people like in immigration and things like that. Um, shelter, you grant shelter for, for les, les sans-abri. Uh, intégrer. Intégrer means to integrate. Like uh, la France intègre les immigrants. France integrate migrants, mais s'intégrer is when you do the action. Les immigrants s'intègrent en France. They, they integrate, they fit in, okay? So they mean the same in English, but not the same person is, is doing the action, okay? So think about it. Agir, agir, to act. Or also you need to use it in the expression, il s'agit de, it's about. OK, il s'agit de comprendre. What does that mean? Comprendre, to understand. OK, je comprends votre point de vue. I understand your point of view and you carry on. Vivre, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire vivre? Vivre is to live, to live somewhere, OK? Or you could use it for the, the book. Elle vit dans une cité HLM, Doria, if you're doing a Kif Kif. Ou um, il vit avec ses parents. If you're doing un secret. Venir, to come, okay? Can mean to come from to. S'en prendre à quelqu'un. I put the word expression there. To take it out on someone. 
okay. Uh, I'm thinking translation there. Is they, they take it out on uh, on um, colored people because you're talking of racism in your translation, etc. You see, so sans prendre à, sans prendre à. So you need to think how to conjugate it. You can have a look. Um, so I was thinking, I think I put it somewhere. You got website, uh, yeah, in in the further slide. You, you I, I put website or I put them, I, I'll add them to the PowerPoint for you to have a look to train to conjugate. So, reconnaître les temps et certaines formes des verbes. Here I put sentences again and I highlighted the verb and the tenses. So, les troupes allemandes ont défilé sur les Champs-Élysées. What verb, what tense, or the other way around? So, it's a perfect tense, on défilé, and it's the verb défilé, to march. Okay, in that case, it could be to parade if it's you. Le narrateur est un enfant. What tense, what verb? That's an easy one. Think about it, pause if you're watching the recording and write it down. Présent, present, sorry, être, verbe être. Yeah, le multiculturalisme sera toujours important. Multiculturalism, beep, always important. Futur, être, will be, okay? Will always be, you would say in English. But in French, the always have to come after, okay? En janvier 43, le régime de Vichy avait créé la milice française pour aider l'armée allemande. So c'est plus perfect, avait créé, okay? So it's the past of the past. And it's the plus perfect of the verb créer. So you see, uh, it's not a créé, it's ave. You got the imperfect instead of the present. J'aurais voulu étudier ce point plus en détail. That's for, I, I was thinking IRP. I would have liked to study this point more in details. Conditional perfect, okay? J'aurais voulu, you in the past, in a, um, and you got that um, things of vouloir. Ils défendent les droits humains en luttant contre la discrimination. It's a present participle. So sometimes it's not conjugated. It's an expression fighting discrimination. Okay. And it's a present participle of the verb lutter. En luttant. So it's completely regular because lutter is the R. À la fin de la guerre, beaucoup de collaborateurs ont été exécutés par les résistants. So why is it a passive voice? I give you, uh, so the passive voice means um, the, the, um, les résistants is the subject. Okay, they doing the action, but the subject is what, like, la, la souris mange le, ch euh, le chat mange la souris, the cat hits the mouse, mais la souris est mangée par le chat. She, she, she's suffering the action of the cat, okay, she's eaten. So, it's the same, the collaborators are executed uh, after the war by the resistance. So, la, les résistants exécute, euh, ont exécuté, I would say, um, ont exécuté les collaborateurs. Okay, so it's a passive voice. Of, of a, per, um, a perfect. Bien que Doria dise du mal de son père, I gave it to you, it's a subjunctive. Subjunctive of dire. Okay? Parce que you got bien que. So you cannot say di. Now, the last one, you don't need to use it. You need to recognize it if you read it in the text. That's all you need to do. Never need. And I put it just to see if someone could know what it is. Il nous fallut faire un long détour pour les éviter. Okay, it's a past historic, the past historic of falloir. Il nous faut faire, we have to, to go around a long detour to avoid them, but in the past, we had to, okay, it's a past historic of falloir. We just recognize, put fallu because it's falloir, we, we use it a lot. Now it's your turn, so I don't really have time to do that, so I let you do it at home. Uh, in your own time, it's a fill in the gap. I put the verb here, I put the tense, and I want you to conjugate. So l'occupation est lourde pour le pays. Avoir, ils avaient beaucoup de pouvoir. Aller, il va avoir son ami Louise. Um, faire, present participle. So la résistance essaie de ralentir les Allemands en faisant exploser les pompes. So they, they bombing the, the bridges. OK, s'intégrer, s'intègre. Vouloir, je voudrais, se réunir, se réuniront, uh, etc., etc. So, in your own time, do, do that one. Um, and 
read that too. I, I've done a slide on subjunctive. Sorry, I didn't see the time uh, as usual. Just to let you know, subjunctive is used to express advice, feeling, <clears throat> desire, wishes, doubt, possibilities, judgment, uh, name it, okay? And after que, often. So, il est important que, okay? It's an advice, more or less. It's important that, plus subjunctive. Il faut que, uh, uh, one, has, one has to do that, okay? So, it's... Uh, an advice in brackets. Il se peut que, it's possible that, okay, there is a doubt there. Also, after je ne crois pas que, I don't think that, because you don't think, okay, you're in doubt. Or je ne pense pas que means the same, I, do, I don't think that, literally. But the first one is believe and the second one is think, okay. Not je crois que, je crois que, because I, 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 I believe that they, they are coming. Je crois qu'il vient, qu'il vient. Je crois that he is coming. I, I use singer. Je crois qu'il vient. Okay. Je ne crois pas qu'il vienne. Subjunctive. Okay. Because you're in doubt. Et vouloir que is, a, is also the subjunctive. It can also be triggered by some expressions like bien que, although, I hope you know that by now. Afin que, pour que, they mean so that. Okay. In your writing. Quoi que, even though. Et sans que, so without. Sans, I, I put a little no there because we, we, we put a negation. Sans que personne ne le sache, without anybody knowing it, you would say in English. But we, we have to have a double negation. Person is a negation, but we have to have the no in addition, okay? Sans que personne ne le sache, without nobody knowing it, etc., etc. Those four are perhaps the... The, the most common you could use for essay oral, okay? So um, remember how to do the subjunctive is to, to form the stem of the subjunctive mode, mood, sorry, of regular verb. You take the il form of the present tense and you take off the ENT. So for example, I take dire to say, il dit, they saying or they tell. Stem of that, I remove the ENT is they yes, and then il faut que je dise, I have to say, that you stay, okay? And the ending, uh, look on one of those web websites, they'll give you the ending of subjunctive because tonight is not a grammar lesson as itself, you've done subjunctive in class. It's more like uh, something to retrieve your knowledge from your memories, okay? So you through website to practice eh, Français Facile, Bonjour de France or le point du fleu. If you type subjunctive, if you type uh, tenses in general, or you type the tense, uh, you, you, you can practice the verbs. Okay, there. So everything will be on the PowerPoint. So finir in form, that was an exercise. I'm going fast. Do it on your own in your own time, okay? Parler is regular, so it's really easy. Okay, it doesn't change, in fact. It's the same than the present. Okay, faire, je fasse, on est, il finisse. Être, il soit, you know that one, I'm pretty sure. Connaître, on, on connaisse. Sa, sa, sorry, savoir, not sache. Vous sachiez, this, sa, savoir, uh, to know. I'm, I'm really sorry tonight. Um, sorry, I cannot write. Uh, savoir is a verb to know, okay? Uh, I, I will correct the PowerPoint. Don't worry. So, uh, the vous form will be vous sachiez. Il faut que vous sachiez que. Okay, so en résumé, remember the gender of the main vocab of theme three and four. Remember that agreement is important for verbs and adjectives in French. Revise the different tenses and when to use them using this website I mentioned and practice the use of the subjunctive, especially for unit three and five, okay? And the translation. A few sentences there, you don't need to write everything in the subjunctive, okay? But uh, that's it for tonight. Merci beaucoup. It